Did Daddy cover you up before you left for work, baby? <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. You're really cute, Daisy. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> This just happened. This is our kitchen sink. It just came off in my hand. Problems. Still adjusting. Still in a transition period. Kevin and I are um, getting ready to go out to dinner. It's Friday night and I hope that we're going to the same Indian restaurant that we went to last Friday night because it was delicious try and talk Kevin into going there again and I think we're going there though aren't we? Are we going there? Yeah I think we're going there. Okay well um we were just talking about what we're going to do tomorrow we're thinking about going to the library which we've never been to here and um we were just saying like it's a super big like luxury or basically that what we've been doing like the changes that we've been making in our lives are obviously working because we can't really recall um, times where we've had the freedom to just do what we want on the weekends if you've seen our first weekend vlog we titled that like our first weekend off because that's what it was and it's just really exciting like having the opportunity um, the luxury the freedom to do what we want to do on the weekends, to even think that we can do things other than working on projects at the house or managing our clutter or cleaning the house or managing the stuff that's in the garage. Just something to think about. I got the vegetable tiki masala with coconut milk. And I had eggplant bertha, and it was both of them were just delicious. I don't know if it was bertha. <laughs> well, that's just how I'm saying it. But it was very good and just really a fun dining experience. And it's great because um, Kevin especially had no idea what he even ordered, but um, we just feel, um, they, they even have a sign on the door that says we have vegan options. We're happy to have anything that they have to offer that's vegan, so it was it was very delicious. Yeah, because they usually, he said that they usually would make mine with like a cream, but they made it with coconut milk. Yep. I never ended up going to Whole Foods this week, but we're going in right now to get a couple things. And here's my bag of coupons. A lot of these we had left over from the Veg Fest. Japanese sweet potatoes are um, kind of white on the inside. They look really similar to a regular sweet potato. We're getting the uh, rolled oats, not the thick ones and not the uh, quick. The thick ones are kind of like, I don't know, not as good. These ones get like soft. Without but, cooking them. But Just not too soft. This is one thing I like better about Earth Fair than Whole Foods. At Earth Fair you get a clean spoon for every bulk item. Are they vegan? Are they vegan? It says it doesn't have any, it's vegan in the ingredients, but it says contains wheat and soy ingredients, and it says may contain milk and eggs. 
But it probably doesn't. But it probably does. They're, I think they're just saying that the equipment that they use probably processes milk and eggs. But that's okay. I guess we're gonna have to get them then. No, we're not getting them. Put them back. Pumpkin pie cheesecake. Put them back. This says the same thing. We don't need them. Not an attractive look on you. <laughs> I want this. Maybe you can have it in four years on your birthday. No, I'm just kidding. Four years? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just, is all it is is today, I, all it is is today I have the willpower to say we're not getting it. A lot of times we do get stuff like that, but today I have the willpower to not give in and get that. So, okay. we're gonna get healthier stuff instead. Hello! Hello! <laughs> What's that? Fitting. Get a special fitting for the travel trailer. For what? For the faucet? <laughs> No, um, it's like a, uh, it's like a gasket. For where? What's broken? There's like a drip, drip, drip going on underneath the sink. That's something different from the broken sink. Oh. Mm, don't know exactly what that is. You know what else. It's like a thing you turn and it like gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Oh, one of those little metal things? Yeah, like a metal, it's like a band. And you like screw it in. And you need a couple of, usually right around here. Oh, right here. Oh, wait, that's a pinch no, clamp. Those are like pinch clamps. I still don't see them. Oh, down there. Did you tell them that? All the leaks you had to fix this week in the travel trailer? Yeah, there was like five. Where were they? Um, I mean, I know where they were, but tell them where they were. They were like, there's like this appliance hose that goes like from the water to like the other stuff. And as you slide in the slide out, it like loosens it up. And it's just like, it gets loose over time and it's just like drip, drip. And you also said that you didn't feel like they like made that stuff well. Like they, yeah, they kind of like the manufacturer went cheap on that stuff yeah, inside the travel trailer. It is. It's just like cheap. Just cheap. So then you have to like go and replace them. That's something for people to like know about and consider. Like I know it's stupid. I mean, like it's like it's just okay to have a leaky fitting. I mean, how many, you had to change like five of them, didn't you? You changed five, and like there's still other ones that I'm like worried about that I'm just gonna have to like replace. If I can find the right ones. Hose clamp, and the new sink. I don't know if it's gonna fit right, but we're gonna find out. Good $142 later, we're leaving those. Ouch! Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you good night. It's Friday night, and before we go, I'm going to um, ask Kevin one of the reader questions so that I can get a candid answer from him. He's never heard the question before. Um, the question is from Marissa S., and she asked a really long question, and I told her that we'd answer, you know, various parts of it, but I'm just going to ask you the first part. Okay. Okay. So, the question is. A, how long do you plan to live in the travel trailer? And she says, basically, she's just wondering because we don't seem very comfortable being there, but maybe that's just what we're showing. So how long do we plan to live in the travel trailer, and would you say that we're comfortable here? I'm really comfortable. I mean, like, I'm really comfortable. I mean, things, we've had some hiccups here and there with, like, the plumbing and stuff, but I don't care. I mean... I mean, and I think we'll probably plan on living here for like. In the know. travel trailer in general, in in a travel trailer in general, not here. Right. We'll probably we could possibly live in a travel trailer for several years. 
Yeah, we don't really have an ending date or like a closing date. Um, I think that we basically said we couldn't see any farther ahead than like four years. Yeah. But we feel like we could easily commit to this for like four years. Yeah. Definitely two years. Yeah. Um, and probably like four years. That's not saying that in four years we won't think, oh, this is awesome. We're going to keep doing this for many, 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 many years. But we just feel like we can really commit to each other to, mm -hmm. to trying it out for like four years. We don't necessarily think that we'll be in this particular travel trailer for the next four years. I guess in my head, I'm thinking that probably within two years, we will have a different travel trailer. Um, not that we want a longer travel trailer or anything like that, but um, just some features that we're kind of learning that maybe we would like, mm -hmm. such as a coat closet. Yeah. Some of them have, some of them do have coat closets, and we would like a coat closet. Yeah. And stuff you don't really realize until you live in one. Right, and we would like a um, a second slide out in the bed, like maybe a slide out in the bedroom perhaps like for a closet area because our clothes are kind of an issue and we don't have very many clothes at all and it's still kind of an issue but um back to like i mean what we're showing you is we're trying to make it as real life as possible so we're not trying to show you that we're uncomfortable here um or that we're super duper comfortable here we're just trying to be like as real as possible don't you think mm -hmm. um and I would say that in a lot of ways, I'm much more comfortable here than I am in the house because a lot of things are so much easier than they are in the house. Um, just one small example, when we lived in the house and I would be cooking dinner, I would always like kind of want Kevin to be in the kitchen with me, just like sitting at the, the island or something, um, just so that I could hang out with him. And he just wasn't very comfortable in there, so he would want to be like in other areas of the house and now it's nice because he'll i'll be in the kitchen cooking and i'll the be in the living room which is like five feet away on the couch and it so that's I'm perfectly comfortable there right so in that in that respect i like it better here so there are things that i like better here as far as being comfortable i would very much say that what you're seeing now is a transition period for us yeah it's been a transition we haven't i don't feel like i've settled in here yet at all at all me either and i just, still feel like there's stuff i want to organize and just stuff i want to like fix here and there to like our liking so yeah this is like still a transitional period this isn't like we're settled in now and this is how it's going to be for a while. no right that's it okay so anyway marissa um marissa s um we will answer more of your questions, um, but that's all we're going to have time for tonight. But thank you very much for asking. You had a lot of really good questions, and we hope you're doing well. And good night, everyone. Good night. Bye.